Hi guys and welcome to Learn to Play Guitar with Paul. Now in this video we are going to talk about string names and it always surprises me the amount of students that come in that have a, perhaps a lesson somewhere else, maybe even for like six months to a year and still don't know the names of their strings. Now super important to know the names of the strings because I'll be giving instructions like play the D string or play the G string and obviously if you don't know where those strings are we won't know what to do. So that's what we're going to talk about. Our night normal, I'm going to give you a few more challenges for more advanced students. So hang around, we will make this a bit more interesting for you. But let's start off right at the beginning and looking at the strings. Now there are six strings. Confusing thing about the guitar is upside down. String one is the one nearest the floor and string six is the one nearest the ceiling. Obviously a bit weird because when you look down, the first thing you see is string six. So you just think that would be string one. But no, that is string six. String one is the one nearest the floor. So that's the numbering system of the guitar. So string one nearest the floor, then two, then three, then four, then five, and then the fattest string being string six. Now they have the number names, they also have letter names as well. So if we go to string one, we're gonna call that one E. And then string two is B, string three is G, string four is D, string five is A, and string six is E. So we have E, B, G, D, A, E. E, G, E, G, what? E, B, G, D, A, E. So E, B, G, D, A, E. Now an easy way of remembering that, Easter Bunny goes driving at Easter. And with Easter coming up, this is quite a cool little rhyme to do. Easter Bunny goes driving at Easter. So if I was to say, where's the B string? You'd go Easter Bunnies, and that'd be the second one. If I said, where's D? Easter Bunny goes driving, that'd be the fourth one. You could just work for that rhyme to find the correct string. Now, if you want something um, a little bit cooler, if you go the other way, every acid dealer gets busted eventually. So maybe more of an adult uh, rhyme. So every acid dealer gets busted eventually. And there's loads of great rhymes. Another one for this direction, Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye Eddie. That's quite a cool one as well. But let's stick with the more uh, kid-friendly Easter Bunny goes driving at Easter. I like that one because it starts on string one. So we can remember that is the first string and that's where we start our little rhyme. So underneath this video, I'll have a little link to a downloadable sheet, a little coloring sheet with Easter Bunny Goes Driving at Easter on for the younger students. For um, older students or even younger students as well, quite a cool thing to do here would be to come up with your own rhyme, take those letters and find a word which starts with that letter and come up with your own six word rhyme to help to remember those guitar strings. And then let me know, post it on the G4 Guitar Ashford Facebook page or whack it in the comments below and let me know what you've got. For more advanced students, I have a more challenge for you. So again, you probably know your open strings and you've probably known them for quite some time, but do you know the names of the notes at fret three? Do you know the names of the notes at fret five, at fret seven, at nine? Mm, I was gonna say 12, but then 12 is the same as the open strings, so you, you probably would. So that's your challenge. I'm not gonna say them because obviously I'll say them, you'll know them. I want you to work them out. A good way of doing this if you are a bit unsure about the names of your notes is to grab a tuner, whack on a tuner, make sure obviously you're in tune first, and then hold down the string, play that note, and you'll see it then comes up D. D is the fifth fret of the A string. So that would be quite a cool thing to do. Challenge yourself by learning the names of the notes in the different frets. So dots are good ones to start with. So three, five, seven, and nine will be the ones to go with. So more advanced students, give that a whirl. So beginner students, get that rhyme in your head. Easter bunny goes driving at Easter. Have a little color of the coloring sheet for the younger students. Come up with your own rhyme to help you remember these strings. Your own rhyme will stick in your head the better. Sillier the rhyme, the better as well. It's gonna be more memorable. And more advanced students, start working out different frets. So all of the six strings, all the letters of those six strings in fret three, five, seven, and nine. And there we go. There's our video for today, and I'll see you tomorrow for another Learn to Play Guitar with Paul. 